Welcome back! Today we're gonna start with the Technomancer. So I tried to get the SweetFX mod to work, but apparently on Google there's like, you can't use that anymore. Apparently it's like too old, outdated, yada yada. But it didn't make such a huge, huge, huge difference. So let's just go through the settings audio really quick. Controls being fucking weird, but since there is no jumping, I mean, it's understandable. Left shift, stealth, stands alt. Oh, we have quick save, that's nice. So. Change targets, left, right. That's mouse wheel, okay. So what I'm looking at is stealth stance. I want to make it left control. Alright. Save. Difficulty. Tutorials, yes. Subtitles, yes. Damage display, full, yes. So I'm not sure if we only can play normal, but I know that the game can be super fucking frustrating. Like just, like when you get staggered and stuff. So we have to see, did it actually save my... Yeah, okay. Uh, video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should keep the field of vision and then see in-game what the difference is, to be honest, just in case. And I think the brightness is fine. I made it, this was it generally, but I made it a little, little bit uh, less visible. But you're gonna see a huge difference from the Technomancer to... <sighs> it's Sobia, the arc? Yeah. Even though it's Sobia has shooting and stuff, this game is more focused on melee, but I think there are some ranged weapons like nail guns and stuff, I don't remember. Oh yeah, so that's... I remember even normal is how it provides a balanced challenge, after have to optimize this guy's equilibrium. Yeah, I remember that... I mean, easy could be too easy, but I'm not sure if you can change it in-game. Let's just see how it works out, I guess, right? Could, can still be very frustrating, though. At the source of all life, there is water. On Mars, where it is rare, water is a source of conflict, struggle, and death. Since the turmoil, there have been unending wars, fought over the possession of clean water. We are the forgotten children of Earth, trapped in this red, barren wasteland. Here, hell is not a concept, it's our reality. And the reality is that every drop counts. Then there were the unfortunates, caught in the full power of the sun's radiation, forced to deform, mutate into unrecognizable monsters. The others, the ones who remained similar to our ancestors in likeness, hid under massive metal shells governed by water corporations. But in the slums, people's lives aren't worth much more than the mutants. And I would know that's where I spent the first ten years of my life, under the boot of the Vori. Of course, in despair, there is hope. 
Some have begun to explore, travel even, from corporation to corporation, leaving their loyalties behind. We have organization, structure, and inevitably, politics. We have rulers, a people's assembly, and far removed from us, the Dowser, the inaccessible face of abundance. And finally, there's us, the elite protectors of the people, the spearhead of the army, my brothers and sisters who all share the same special gift. We are Technomancers. <laughs> it looks way better, right, guys? <laughs> oh, God. Sensibility. Sensibility. Um, how much? I don't even remember how much. How many faces are there? It looks pretty cool, right? Looks pretty cool. You can't do that. You make you whitewashed him. <laughs> Maybe. He looks. Japanese dude, but he looks cool too. Wait, where's the face I had earlier? <laughs> Fuck. Um, So it's only faces, skin color, so it's more like about color, right? Oh god, yeah. Personally, I like him. Reminds me of that actor. I think you play him in uh, Deacon in Days Gone or something, the one dude. Zoom out. So when I change my face, does it keep the hair? Actually, it does. It's very young. Yeah. Wow. Hair, hair color. Cool. I can barely see the fucking my window is like blend. It's too bright. Now I can't see. I think that's fine. <sighs> Talents give access to new abilities, picking padlocks, creating health and focus injections, making high level upgrades, etc. Remaining points, total points spent, next point. Oh, oh. Oh, I can go. S let's you steal items while being stealthy. Let's make you stealth attack a monster. Traps lock picking. Level 1 picks. You can set up traps faster. Exploration. Let's you collect ingredients from dead creatures. That's very good. Crafting. Science. Charisma. Can I remove that? Uh, oh yeah, reset. 
So charisma sounds good to me. Especially maybe in the early game. But I want to go stealth. Because it can make sneak attack on monsters. That's also very good. Yeah, it's hard, hard choice. I'm gonna take. I'm a charisma person, so I'm gonna take that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, attributes increases the damage you do, your resistance, and the chance you have making a critical hit. These attributes also determine if you can work certain equipment. How much do I have? One. Huh? So we have strength. Damage caused by hand to hand plus one disrupting with two hand attacks. No, we're hand to hand. I think Constitution seems nice. Zachariah. Scott, you came. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sure, my memory isn't what it is, but I remember to write things down on my calendar. Though I do sometimes forget where my calendar is. Anyhow, I knew your last cadet mission was today. Any nerves? If it's any consolation, you look more than fit enough. No, I'm good. I'm ready. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, healthy flush of skins. I will meet. You don't get stressed out. Very well. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, but if I can bother you, just a moment. I recently acquired a batch of materials that can improve your gear. It's not much, but I thought you'd like it. Can't still... Still can't believe you're going to be an officer soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Scott. It means a lot. Ah. I fear we've dilly -dally. Some trees. Your master, Sean, waits for you in the courtyard. <laughs> so stiff, that one. I fear his spine is concocted from steel. A spine prosthetic. How interesting. What if... Oh, and stop by the clinic and come shoot the chit-chat. No, no, that's not... Just don't be a stranger. If you feel ill or need a hand, come see me. I'm always glad to help. Good luck, my Thank you, Scott. Will do. I promise. Better facial animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. So the person, when you press W, you see that? Like he takes, he needs a little bit to um, turn. So I think this is fine, I think. Yeah, sprinting works. I hope that's... I mean, can I change sensitivity? Oh, you can. Let's make it by one. What the hell is guide? Oh, okay. So he wants... Can I, by the way, can I, like, walk or only run? Let's go. That's what I have equipped or what? <sighs> Health injection. Exploding trap. Armor. Resistance to electricity or physical damage reduction. And you 
can even see visually. That's cool, yeah. But I have more stuff, right? do too much here but yeah that's basically how it works I guess oh I can already and V is putting them away okay I remember correctly we still have we have a training anyway can Fuck I say I can answers. fix that right every time they come around yep. something yeah. new is broken yeah. I fix it they break so it I again. wonder if that I was like it. when I hold my yeah. worse. I'm a modern yeah. fucking sisyphus task with pissing in the ocean Okay, so you actually have to do some moves. Zachariah, today, as you know, marks your final mission as a cadet. I trust you are prepared. Of course, Master. Ready, willing, and able. And a little nervous. Normal and expected. That's why I have gathered together your usual instructors to allow you to warm up and prepare. It's for you to ace the tests for each fighting technique. Prepare yourself. And once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. Thank you, Master. Train at the different styles. Let's start with... If you would like to practice your technomancy techniques or care to do some staff training, I have time. Yep. Train to use the staff. I'm always honored to learn what you have to teach. Excellent. Switch to warrior style combat. Lock onto your target. I'd advise you to not try anything. Yeah, you have to press. Very hardcore. Like you have to time stuff correctly, you, you get shit ton of damage. <laughs> this area attack mean? It's not. Oh, I, I know why. 
Maybe. Guardian, Guardian Rogue Warrior, Draw Sheath, Change Targets, Lock On Camera. I guess he must mean right. <laughs> You mean my skill on two? What does he mean? Area attack? It's not. I don't have a button for that. So tap is this. Does he mean he doesn't mean electric? Marks, no. What does the game mean? I'm already confused. I have only left click and the, the fucking space by the disrupt. Oh. That's not... Why is... Uh, what about Q and E? Is Q and E done by anything? Interaction... Why do I need four interaction buttons? E is enough. Let's make it Q. Ay, ay, ay. Let's just hope we don't need that button later. Oh, okay, it's huge. Would you care huge, to fight again? Technomancy that would brush up on my technique had never hurt. Indeed. Remember to attend to your surcharge risk. I would hate to have an accident. Technomancy powers can be used with any style of combat. Some permanent effects use up fluid where they have not to be deactivated. Keep an eye out on your fluid charges. Electrifies your weapon. To use electric arcs, open the active port menu with tab delete. In the Technomancer tab, uh, select electric arcs with the mouse and then key of your choice, assign a shortcut. Uh, left click uses it immediately. Mm, I can make one, right? the little thing. So one is then basically completely reserved only to give the staff electrical. Ah, I get it. 
you care to fight again? No. I would love to. Another time, Master. Thank you. Of course. Keep in mind, a well-trained staff can be quite formidable. And as you know, the control over our technomancy is what makes us unique. How about a little self-defense training? Sure. Sure. Why not? That's the spirit. Here we go. <clears throat> I advise you to not try anything. Very bad to make it queue when it's actually. But it, it's okay if you do it like that. I advise you. It's very not hard to anything. move to the left, but I'm not using the style. I think. <laughs> And the activation tons of time. Care to go again? No. Maybe later. Your call. You're gonna wish you had some good defensive training though when you find yourself in trouble. I know. Want to test your skills with a knife and a gun? Not really in the rule book. So if you do, need to be discreet. Sure. Let's do it. All right. I'd advise you to not try. <laughs> I love this style. I'm probably gonna go staff and uh, knife. The Q is like so shooty. Go again? Another time, maybe. We're probably gonna go Don't staff. underestimate stealth yeah, techniques, yeah, or how much faster you can be in combat with light weapons. But yeah. Soldier, please let me in. It's imperative I speak to someone in charge. Hey, heard from Captain Sean. You're heading out to the station. You leaving now? Yep, already ready. Halt! Stop right there. We're conducting a search. Look at this piece of shit. Well, well, what do we have here? Huh? Rogue trash seems lost, what? don't it? You forget we don't want your kind around here, trap. Sorry ass out of here before you find yourself bleeding from both ends. I'm sorry. I, I didn't... I didn't ask you to speak. Did I? You useless piece of shit. Why would I want to hear what you have to say? You waste this Please, please. I did Shut your mouth and just fucking die. Jesus. Corpse will feed the rats. At least then you'd have a purpose. Such a waste of life. A waste of space. Am I right? A rogue is a rogue is a Zack, right? You can dress him up, but... Fuck off, Alan. Before I... Zachariah! We're leaving. Certain people are graduating to the rank of officer today. While others aren't even worth the expense of their time or energy. Let us be off. Some more remarkable things. He looks like somebody you want to punch, you know, the guy from earlier, this Ellen Manson guy. Look, Zach, we are heading for the dome. 
It was built by the first settlers. A relic itself. And what's there for us? According to reports, looters, who in our interest, it would be best to keep out of the dome. Go through here. So did I inventory skill? Oh god. Skills Guardian Rogue Warrior Technomancer. Talents, attributes, stats, journal, maps, oh my god, and wall map. Opia, old dome. Cool, cool. So, how can I? Oh, yeah, components, quest, useful. So, I have exploding trap, right? something when I press tab I can go here oh it's on three okay safe Zachariah do you remember your first lesson on the scarcity of life indeed the very one Kill a fellow unfortunate and, in this hell, only the more alone we will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives. I think it's easy. It's not easy. <laughs> him off you have to drain but remember that life is still precious on Mars yeah, safer. Is there, if, is there something like morality or some shit? Is there? Let me see. No. 
teleportation though, come on. Suspicious. Uh, karma good. So what happens? Bad karma, let me see. The death will cost a karma, and you gain serum, blah blah blah. We encroach our destination. Take note that enemy forces lie in wait. There, the rocky outcrop. Scale it and report back your findings. Okay. Is there any loot though? It's not disrupting in this case, is it? Like, I can do this stabby stabby stuff, but it doesn't change it. But your life regenerates very slowly, so that's good. Also, stealth attack in this game, they don't immediately kill, they just do a little bit of damage. It's weird. But I think you can skill that. stamina meter <gasps> oh yeah P was it rogue right oh that was for poisoning right the thrust
There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance, a lot of them, but they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won. Should I use my health injection? <sighs> clearly, clearly don't need it. Game. It's very uncomfortable. Like you guys probably see everything, but the window is like the sun is so blinding, and I can't do shit about it. It's definitely a little bit weird. Probably terrible now, but you get exploration one. Don't remember what exploration does though. Is that an attribute? Oh, 
Oh, so I get... So I can... In get in... Oh, via item. Ooh, that's cool. Probably gonna need this stance in a second. Careful what you press and hold. <laughs> okay. Game, do you really want me to waste a fucking health injection? Ah. Oh, there's new. More people. My, fl I mean, fluid regeneration plus two percent. Does it mean if I re unequip them, they are on zero? Oh, it's zero and zero Skill. I want to upgrade the arcs. I'm trying to go into three, three trees. Rope, warrior, technomancer. So let's hope that works out. Feeling? Hmm. I can. 
craft that shit out of metal. That's interesting. Oh, and serum. Oh, okay, so that's not bad. I have three. Let's save. This would be without a companion. I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our abilities are brought into the light to the moment the light is snuffed from our eyes, the Technomancers are nothing but pawns on a chessboard. We have no free will. Abundance forces its will on us. I think about the future. How hard it will become if the ASC rises in power. Perhaps I'm just being paranoid. Forgive your master's little spell. You must focus on more important things. This door... It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. so old. It's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? Knowledge, Zack. The very essence of knowledge. <laughs> Are they not coming?
soldiers do not belong here. Their very presence is a danger to the relics. We must seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. It was fascinating. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we're still faced with so many obstacles that we can't do anything with it. It's more of a danger for us than a tool. This is the main room. The console over there. Activate it. And heed its yeah, words. Let me, let me see a we'll do. March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized. Pulse elevated but steady. Unaffected by any visible health. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing and I, and I feel like I can take on the world. And it's... And I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. Subject self-report is consistent and substantiated with our measurements of human and other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to the mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, is the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable of evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. This man talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if I can't believe. And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers. Speaks of the first Technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? I don't... but... We have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well. So have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now, more so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged. We will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes, yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so well, they must have breached lower in the dome. Then that's where we must go. I will divert the attention of these creatures. At the base of the dome, you will find them. Huh? They swarmed here. They must have dug a passage. I'm on it. No skill. I mean, I didn't go yet into Rogue. I'm not sure how, how it is with the points. I mean, you can always... People don't like to do it. You can use cheat engine and shit. You know, if you want to spec into one tree and you plan on not replaying the game, then you can basically... Use cheat engine, cheat yourself some fucking points, and then you can use two different styles if you know what I mean. Um, what do I have? One. Hmm. Should 
make the staff a little bit better. If the attack is... Oh, the area attack. If the attack is parried, it is not disrupted. To be honest, I should probably get three arcs though. Uh, yeah. Or... Use that a lot. Thanks to my goggles, I can at least skin them and get zero. Let's say, quick snipe. I don't think I found anything where I can upgrade my stuff, even though it shows us something. Or can we disassemble the stuff we found? Oh, we can. chance to get stuff uh, staff So what about field of vision?
doesn't feel right if I have it too too high. But could be that it's too bright in my face here right now. So if I do a second episode tonight when it's darker, I should see way more. But also this place in general, you just can't see very good, I guess. I think the serum adds up when you skin them all. These are a little bit bigger and this looks like boss fight. Save. Oh, quick save, not authorized, not good. Nice. Does it show? Yeah, items. I think that's later team commands. mean oh the bad probably combat skills like the swings and twirls my companion made probably something like that you can learn Right, little little circle.
Was that my mine? Why was I on my mine? And the little fucker triggered it? What the fuck is going on?
Nice. You, no stuff is exploding who bore outside. witness to the secret with your own eyes, who knows in your heart of hearts that the revelation that he bears is true, and who has understood that this knowledge could cast us into endless pits of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives, abandon the one you thought you were, and instead become our brother, Zachariah Manser. Together we have shared the water and secret. Can you swear to forever protect the knowledge of the Earth and to dedicate your life to finding it again? To defend and protect our secret, even with the sacrifice of your life, if need be? I swear. Then welcome, my brother. I know you must be troubled by what you've learned, and I assure you that it's no less troubling to me. But be proud of what you are, and know, no matter what, we are by your side. And that this initiation, as horrid as it may be, makes you forever our brother. You showed the courage of lions beneath the dome, and for it you have been made an officer. So I imagine, now that you no longer need my guidance, you will send me elsewhere with the great and endless pride of having been your teacher over these few years. The honor was mine, Master. No, not Master. It's just Sean now. Go. Take your assignment as an officer. Count the blessings you have amounted. Those that allowed you to avoid the front thus far. Captain Eliza is waiting in the barracks. She's harsh, but fair. But before you find her, we all know the regulations. Technomancers get no leave from the front in times of war. So being here, I can't even sneeze without a report being written up. But you, you have a free pass. I need you to go to the exchange district for me. There's an itinerant merchant there who was supposed to arrive yesterday. Just meet with him. The merchants have no ties to abundance and travel among us like shadows. They hear things, whisper things, and pay people to forget they are there. I'm looking for information on any archaeological discoveries that could expose the Earthlings. Information that would help protect our secret. Ask him if they've heard of any such finds. Yes, Great Master, sure. as you wish. Good, Zachariah. But take care that not a single soul knows what you're after. Not a single soul can hear your exchange with the merchants. Check, press L. Fight for abundance, follow this quest. What happens if I follow this? I mean, the map is okay, right? Oh fuck, that's... Oh! Okay. Sean, Ian... Underworks... So we just go forward now, we should see, you know? Save. Is it here? Yeah. Oh, that's why I had the training. Okay, okay. A weight chest. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Shit. Hello. Hello. Lieutenant Zachariah Manser, your reputation precedes you. A promotion well deserved, I hear. I'm Quartermaster Ryan Stewart, in charge of logistics in this barracks. Equipment problems or improvement, or you need to collect your pay, I'm your man. Huh. Pleasure, Quartermaster. Like my pay. Hi. Lieutenant, 
How can I help you? You can't? Hi. Hi. it. Okay, nothing yet. Lieutenant Zachariah Manser, I think congratulations are in order. Captain Eliza Major, welcome to my unit. The honor is mine, Captain. For now, we're stationed in town and focusing on missions intended to maintain order and safety among the civilians. Here are the two other fine soldiers making up your unit for the time being, David Ward and Jeffrey Hunter. <laughs> Leave the ass kissing for later, soldier. <laughs> Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Captain. Excellent. Moving on to more pressing matters. Our mission just came in, and it's aimed at smothering regime opposition. According to the intel the ASC gave us, those terrorists live in the slums and are plotting several attacks to undermine our corporation. Your mission is to infiltrate the terrorists, stop the attacks, and find your way to their leader, Bulgakov. Orders are to capture Bulgakov alive. We're going to drain him for intel about other terrorist cells and dismantle the entire network. So beat him only as much as you need to take him. You got it, Captain. Move quickly. The longer you take, the more risk there is to the citizens of Ophir. And I won't have that. Yes, sir. Before you go, though, there's one more mission. One requiring speed and discretion. We have deserters in our ranks, Lieutenant. Deserters planning to flee like rats through the city's underground. That won't happen. Do you understand me? You find them, and you eliminate them, each and every one. Sure. If that seems harsh to you. Setbacks against Aurora have ruined our reputation, to the point that every action we take is scrutinized and extorted by those seeking to gain from our fall. A mass desertion would spell scandal if it became public. You catch them before any word of their escape comes out. So move, now. You only have a few hours. At least I don't have to reach it. <laughs> so, David Ward, eh? Specialist Guardian style uses a base at a shield. Related, suspicious, resistance. Oh. And Sir Jeffrey, Hunter. Excellent shot with a rifle, eh? What does inventory mean? Oh my god, don't tell me you can't equip them. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay, anyway guys, what you heard was uh, I have a Twitch stream open on my um, TV and stuff, like a secondary monitor basically. And I had the stream on pause and the guy was offline and then he came back online now and suddenly, boom. Stream music starts. Jesus. At your command, Lieutenant. What can you tell me about our captain? I'm... Sorry, Lieutenant? I want you to speak freely. It's just us. No, uh, of course, Lieutenant. I just... Uh, the captain's a great lady. A bit strict and not always polite with her orders, but that's nothing to bitch about. Sure, she's got her reasons, and it's for her own good. And, hell, she knows a lot more than what's going on behind the scenes than we do. Hell, she came from a family of officers. She's damn good at her job. Was meant for it. And I'm pretty damn proud to say she's the head of our unit. I I'm just a, a little surprised you're asking me, Lieutenant. What do you think about Technomancers? Oh, hell. <laughs> well, you're putting me on the spot, aren't you? All right, well, you guys are strong and all that with your powers, no doubt. And honestly, you're only the second one I've ever met. He, uh, he, okay, he taught us some terrestrial right techniques, thing. and, you know, obviously he was there for us if we had spiritual problems. But to be honest, I can't really compare him to you or any of the other ones here, of course. That said, honestly, I'm really proud to serve under you, Lieutenant. You're an example to try to live up to. 
I mean, you were just one of us regular people and you became an officer and a technomancer. It's really incredible and inspiring. Yeah. What do you know about Colonel Victor? Colonel Victor Watcher? He's, uh, not someone I met or, or, or want to meet either. Not that I'm, I mean, I know, but this is overrun with rebels and enemy spies, but it's just word is when it comes to him, best keep your mouth shut. So I'd prefer to follow that advice, if you don't mind. What can you say about Anton Rogue? Not all that much, I don't think. Head of the Vori's mob, yeah? Heard he's not exactly a good man if you catch my drift. A guy no one in their right mind would want to deal with. And, you know, being a soldier and all, I'm just an honest, hardworking guy, so I have no reason or interest to rub shoulders with him. You're from Greenhope, right? What was it like? Ah, oh, Lieutenant. It's it's a really beautiful place. You gotta see it to believe it. A lot of space, not like the city. A lot of cultivating and breeding areas. I mean, a lot of stuff that makes its way here is made there. And hell, if you like hunting, that's your place. Uh, not that it's perfect or nothing. Like, its houses aren't as nice as our capital buildings for sure, but... It's nice there. You'd like it. Beautiful views of the desert and fields around it. Really, really nice. You ever been to the Underworks? Oh, yeah, sure. The place is like a crazy maze. Warehouses everywhere, tunnels leading to nowhere. Kind of crazy. I think they should really be patrolling them more often. Honestly, I swear I saw some creatures who could tear apart any poor guy working down there. Dangerous stuff, Lieutenant. And not, not that I'm criticizing our work down there, or I, I wouldn't do that. What do you think of the source? Ah, oh, an amazing place, Lieutenant. Really pretty architecture, mind-blowing buildings, all of it. Makes you proud to be part of abundance. And you know, I'm all kinds of proud to serve here at the barracks that protect our corporation. Crazy to think the safety of the people's representatives and the dowsers in our hands. Really cool. Can I talk to him too? Lieutenant? You know Colonel Victor? The ASC chief? Yeah, sure. He's the head of the intelligence services. They hunt down enemy spies and rebels. But you know that already. Why are you asking? Is this a test? No. Just interested in hearing what you think of the guy. I don't. I don't think anything about it. Let's just leave it at that. What do you know about the ASC? Why? You work for them? This an interrogation? Or... Look, all I know is what everybody else knows. They protect abundance from enemies and rebels. Is that the right answer? Do I earn my merit badge? David, listen to me. I'm not... That's what they all say. You don't like technomancers, do you? That a surprise, Lieutenant? You go to your little private schools, cut off from the world, then just... Show up all clean and well-fed with your weird-ass powers and poof! Just take other officers' positions without earning them. You don't have a damn clue what war is. You've never been to the front lines. Let me tell you, I have. Even fought alongside some of your so-called masters. Day in and day out, we fought together. And day in and day out, they had more respect for our damn enemies than they ever did for me or us. We ain't nothing to your great officers with their divine abilities, whatever the fuck they are. We show our respect to you because we know we'd probably be up shit creek in some of these wars without you. We don't have to like your kind, and I don't. It's my damn right. So yeah, no, Lieutenant. Sorry. I don't like Technomancers You're much. fired. What do you know about Anton Rogue? Headman of the Vori, one of my best friends. Great guy, really fantastic. Hell, are you asking me shit like this? How would I know? One of the most dangerous fucks on the planet? People say he's everywhere. Knows everything about everybody, even us simple soldiers who would never lower himself to even share a drink with. If you're looking to deal with the guy, watch your ass. 
dude's a snake with friends in some very high places. Stay the hell away. You can. Hmm. You've been a soldier a long time. Tell me about the army. Best years of my life, stuck in the worst job on the planet. Sure, it's the best army on Mars. Best trained, best equipped, most disciplined. But with guys serving for over 10 years without a single fucking promotion? Hell's the point? Where's the enticement to be a hero? Well, thanks, another shiny fucking medal. It'll make my casket real pretty one day. No thanks. The officers are either legacies who went to the right schools or folks like you who actually went to good schools. Army doesn't care about valor in combat. They care about privilege, in my opinion. <laughs> Shit. That shit is time. Chasing after deserters sounds great, but where do we start? The slums. They must have gone home to ask for help, so we should pay their families a visit. I'm sure our escapees will be around. I find it disgusting. Chase them out of the cave. Slums. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save our game the first time apparently. Now we continue tonight and gonna do a second episode right after this, but I have to wait until it's a little bit darker so I can see some more shit. So anyway, thanks for watching. Interesting game so far, and I see you then in the next part I guess. See ya!